Hello everybody, I'm Suman Matthews and today we introduce the first of my course videos on probability that is the basic concepts of probability. This is useful for the GRE quantitative section as well and also useful for classes 10 and 11 mathematics. So if A is any event then probability of A is defined as number of favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes. And what do we need to remember? That probability of A lies between 0 and 1. Coming to questions, a coin is tossed twice. What is the probability of getting at least one tail? So when a coin is tossed twice, what are the possibilities? You can have both heads, heads tail, tails head or tail tail. So probability of at least one tail will be 3 by 4. Number of favorable outcomes is 3. And total number of outcomes is 4. If E is any event with probability P, odds in favor of E is P by 1 minus P and odds against E is 1 minus P by P. This is a formula which we need to remember. So if odds in favor of an event are 2 is to 1, what is the probability of the event? So what is the formula? Odds in favor is P by 1 minus P. So P by 1 minus P, it's 2 by 1 where P is the probability. So cross multiplying and solving, we get P is 2 by 3. Coming to question 3, if 6 persons sit in a row, what is the probability that A and B are sitting on adjacent seats? So total number of seating arrangements is 6 factorial. And Treat A and B as one unit. So what do we have now? We have 6 minus 2 plus 1, 5 people now. And this topic, permutations and combinations, has been explained in detail in my earlier course on permutations and combinations. So these 5 people can be arranged in 5 factorial ways. Now the 2 people A and B between themselves can be arranged in how many ways? 2 ways. So your answer is number of favorable outcomes where A and B sit on adjacent seats is 5 factorial into 2. Now how do we define probability? Number of favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes. That is 5 factorial into 2 by 6 factorial which is 2 by 6 which is 1 by 3. Question 4. Two cards, cards are drawn at random from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards. Find the probability that one card is red and the other black. Total number of outcomes is what? 52C2 because you are selecting two cards out of 52 cards. Now one red card is drawn from 26 red cards in 26 C1 ways. And what about the one black card? The one black card can be drawn from 26 black cards in 26 C1 ways. So what is the number of favorable outcomes? 26C1 into 26C1 and means multiplication because we need a black card and a white card. Sorry, a red card. So your probability will be 26C1 into 26C1 by 52C2. What is 26C1 into 26C1? Number of favorable outcomes. So simplifying you get 26 by 51. Coming to question 5, in a group there are 3 men and 2 women. 3 persons are selected at random. Find the probability that the group consists of 1 man and 2 women or 2 men and 1 woman. So we have 3 men and 2 women. So what are the possibilities they have given? 1 man and 2 women or 2 men and 1 woman. So number of favorable outcomes is 1 man can be selected from 3 men in 3 C1 ways. 2 women from 2 women in 2 C2 ways. So you have 3 C1 into 2 C2. This is one combination. Or. Or means plus. So we write a plus here. 2 men can be selected from 3 men in 3 C2 ways. And 1 woman can be selected from 2 women in two, into 2 C1 ways. And. And means multiplication. So this is another combination. So we have either this or this. And both are separated by plus. Plus means or. So, and what is the total number of outcomes? 5C3 because I am selecting 3 out of 5. So your probability will be 3C1 into 2C2 plus 3C2 into 2C1 by 5C3 which is 9 by 10. Coming to question 6. Out of 8 points in a plane 5 are collinear. 
find the probability that three points selected at random will form a triangle. So we have five collinear points and non-collinear points. So what are the following selections? You can have one point from the collinear points and two points from the non-collinear points. How can they be selected? One point from the five collinear points in five C1 ways, two points from the three non-collinear points in three in three C2 ways. So we have 5 C1 into 3 C2 which is one combination. Then two points are selected from the collinear points and one point from the non-collinear points. So how can this be done? Two points can be selected from five collinear points in 5 C2 ways and one point can be selected from three non-collinear points in 3 C1 ways. So I have 5 C2 into 3 C1. And what is the last combination? Three points are selected from the three non-collinear points and that is 3C3. So your total probability will be 5C1 into 3C2 plus 5C2 into 3C1 plus 3C3. We can have either this or this or this divided by number of favorable outcomes is 8C3. So simplifying you get 23 by 28 as the answer. So we have learned the basic concepts of probability and the odds in favor of or odds against. So watch out for the next video on loss of probability. Thank you.